Hey guys, Mars Sigurd here, bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so, since the release of Android 21, well, honestly, even before her release, when we saw her kit, uh, it was uh, made clear that she was going to be on the 200% leader skill for the Super Saiyan 3 Rose. Uh, all of the Android 21 units are, right, because they have Transformation Boost, which is one of Rose's 170s. And then, of course, they are on Crossover, which is his and the Limit Breaker Vegito's only plus 30 percent so as soon as that was revealed obviously you know i wanted to pull the unit anyway big fan of android 21 but i wanted to try and cook up what would be the best team to run android 21 on a team with rose right for like a crossover team so this is the team that i came up with after a little bit of messing around um what's going to be funny i know for this is i posted a screenshot on twitter um last night having beaten this stage uh with no items and it all going perfectly fine um and so now I bet when I sit down to record it, obviously we do have the five attempts. Am I actually going to be able to do it again? But uh, basically we have uh, 21. Once she transforms the AGL Dokkan Fest 21, she has big bad bosses. Now, when it comes to Rose, uh, it is very disappointing that he doesn't have big bad bosses. He is a unit that I'm a huge fan of. I really enjoy running this unit. When I run him on his own team, Ideally, I like to run him in like on main rotation, right? I normally have one rotation with Janemba and then him and then Dark Mask King and then him. In the early stages, you don't really want to float him off because he does infinitely stack attack in his starting form and then you can't stop him from transforming. So if you're floating him off, you're missing out on turns where he could get those extra stacks and then obviously he's not going to hit as hard in full power. Um, but... On this team build, the idea will be to get those uh, stacks early on if we can, and then obviously have him floated off. The rotations will be uh, Janemba on one rotation with Android 21. I think they share, it's either four or five links uh, once she does have big bad bosses. So one of the things you can do early on, which is kind of interesting, is keep the evil 21 next to him because he starts off with big bad bosses and then get the AGL Android 21 onto rotation with him once she's ready to transform. And then obviously Dark Mask King, he's just kind of holding it down uh, in slot one on the other rotation, tagging the hits, uh, getting the heals. Um, and of course, Fu. Fu is the only unit that is kind of like a bit of an odd man out here, I guess, because he obviously only supports the extreme class allies. So when he floats into the rotation with Janemba and Android 21, um, he does share big bad bosses with Android 21, but because she's a super class unit, she doesn't get any support. Uh, from him picking up his orbs but i mean it still works out pretty nicely the only real like weaknesses of the team i would say is that the uh foo of course against the hardest hitting bosses you know you can pick up a bunch of orbs he's going to get a 50 percent chance to dodge but if he doesn't dodge he can take a lot of damage and then obviously janemba only has his guard for a certain number of turns once we get to the point where his guard runs out he can be pushing like eight nine hundred k defense but it means getting hit by a big super is still going to do a lot of damage to him. So let's go ahead and jump in and uh, see the team in action. Hopefully we get a decent starting rotation, but uh, here we go. Okay, so we've got an interesting setup here. We've got Evil 21 and the uh, Janemba together on the starting rotation. So that's good for both of them. Um, now, when it comes to Rose, what I was saying before about floating him off, it's actually kind of interesting when it comes to this particular setup because the... If he's on turn one and you float him off, he's coming back on turn four. Um, if he's on turn two, that's when you don't want to be floating him off, right? Because then he's coming back on turn five and he's going to transform immediately. Whereas if we do this, we can actually get the transformation straight away. I think, though, with Evil 21 being in slot uh, on this turn, I think what we probably will do, because on the next turn, I won't want to float off Rosé either. So that means I'd end up with a double Rosé rotation. So I think I will do this. Um, obviously Janemba for this turn is going to have big bad bosses. He gets to super attack first. He actually does really well on this rotation because he's sharing a couple of links with um, the Android 21. But then he's also getting a couple of links from um, Rosé as well. So he actually does get a pretty good setup here being in the middle of these two units. So I know his Fu is on the next turn. So I'm going to try to save these STR orbs for him. We'll see how that pans out here. So... 
yeah, we should be looking pretty good. My evil 21 is only 55%, so obviously if you want to recreate this team, the more dupes that you have in the new 21 units is obviously going to make a significant difference. Uh, my AGL 21 is only 69%. She has the one dupe, um, but evil 21 is only 55%. Uh, I was saying on the podcast last night, like, I'm very, very impressed with the Evil 21 as the banner unit. She is absolutely one of those banner units that I cannot wait to get more copies of because she just works really well on a lot of these teams that she's on. Um, and one of the things that I happen to see a lot, we'll see if it happens now, she obviously has from her intro a 70% chance to do an additional super. So here we are getting an additional super. But then obviously she does have level 5 additional as a physical unit. So there we go, we got an additional normal. I was gonna say, I very rarely, when using her, have actually seen her do three attacks. Very often she just does two super attacks. And because of the way her um, passive works with the fact that the additional from her intro is just a super attack or nothing, it means you can't actually ever be sure. If she does two supers, you actually just don't know whether it was her original super and then the hidden potential, or if it was her original super and the intro, and one or the other just didn't activate, right? Because it's uh, those, that's why it's always best for characters to have the uh, launches an additional attack that has a chance to become a super kind of passive, because then you know you're always getting a normal attack, and then that increases the chance that you're gonna trigger the hidden potential attack as well. So it does work out uh, much better in the long run, but. Here's what it is. I mean, she does consistently get two supers. And uh, one of the good things about her is, even if you are floating her off on one of these setups, um, she is able to get... Uh, she stacks her defense on her super attack uh, for four turns, which means that even if you're floating her, she's still going to have those stacks when she comes back around onto the rotation the next time. So that's really good. Um, sadly, Dark Mask King not critting on the previous turn means we didn't heal as much as I would have liked. So hopefully Janemba doesn't eat a super immediately here. I was going to say, now that he's built up fully with his defense and he has his guard still, he's going to be perfectly fine to defend here against Zamasu. Uh, he's getting stacks off of his super attack as well. And then, of course, after 21 attacks, uh, she's going to get her 50% chance to dodge. Um, the thing with this team as well, this team has tons of healing. Um, it doesn't start off super strong in terms of damage because a lot of these characters need to build up. Like Rosé obviously does more damage after he transforms. 21 does more damage after she transforms. Uh, Janemba needs to build up as well. Um, but the team has a ton of healing, so you can just kind of keep healing back from all of these attacks that you are taking. And then, of course, both Rosé and 21, their transformation comes with a massive heal. And then once they've transformed, 21 heals on her super attack and Rosé continues to heal a little bit at the start of every turn. So them combined with then, of course, the Dark Mask King healing you based on the damage that he's doing, um, the team is just able to heal an absolute ridiculous amount in one go. The only real weakness is the uh, Dark Mask King taking like really big hits at the start of the turn. Because like here, for example, um, we obviously have to take a hit and if it's a super i'm not sure how much he is actually he's got 500k defense now actually after getting some more build up so he should be okay he took a normal so it's fine and then ideally he crits here i think to be fair once he starts to get built up he doesn't even necessarily need to crit because yeah pretty solid damage uh we'll see once we actually get to see the bars at the bottom again where that puts us but we're probably back to full hp now Rosé taking a super. Huh. I was going to say, post super attack with him, with the defense that he gets and his guard, he'll eat that fairly nicely. But instead, he'll just dodge and take zero. So you'll love to see it. And yeah, we are basically back at full HP now. So considering we'll be able to get the transformation with uh, 21 on the next turn, then we are looking pretty good. So this is the last turn that Janemba has guard, unfortunately. So... Now you only get... Oh, we do have Brainiacs. That's not bad. Do you get any extra links from you? Obviously, Big Bad Boss is for now. But... Do I want to transform 21 on this turn? I probably do. So, let's go ahead and transform 21. The reason why I think it's good to transform her straight away is obviously her active skill um, is usable on the turn after she transforms. 
And so once we go into this next phase with the tech uh, Zamasu and Rosé, having the ability to use her active skill straight away and uh, then potentially get... Oh, she's, she's not attacking in slot one. We could do... So you get a lot of links active between these two. She's only missing Android Assault and Battlefield Diva. And Brainiacs is a really solid link. So, yeah, I feel like we just do this. So we do this, we do this. And then obviously, as I say, Janemba will benefit from getting these orbs with uh, Fu for the support. But as you can see, the numbers for 21 don't change at all. But it is what it is. Janemba up to a 6.5 million on this turn. Pretty good for him. There's the crit as well. And the additional. Let's go, Janemba. Modified Janemba is so good. I feel like if his guard was longer than five turns or even just permanent, he would absolutely be like one of the best heroes. I mean, you could probably argue he still is one of the best heroes, like, units, right? But he would be, like, a must-run on a bunch of these team builds. Because some events, it can get a little bit scary if uh, you're getting to the point where his guard has run out. Because even though his raw defense does build up to a really high number, it's not enough to tank super attacks from these, like, dismal future red zone bosses. Um, and obviously, if you're going up against some of the tougher int bosses as well, um, even their normal attacks have the potential to do a pretty decent amount of damage to him once his guard has run out. So um, I guess it depends on the rotation because obviously I've seen turns with him where he's at like 900k defense. So even in bosses, normal attacks aren't doing damage to him at that point. But but yeah, sadly, we have ended up with the um, this rotation. Now, for the sake of safety, like I could do this, right? right full power Rosé has guard. But start of turn pre-super, we're only looking at 263k defense. What that means, essentially, is that if he gets super attacked by Rosé and Zamasu in slot 1, he will die, right? So, it's better to do this, even though it means he's not going to have any links active, this extra one in slot 3. Um, it doesn't matter, because post-super, his defense is incredibly high, and he has the guard, so he will be fine, right? And obviously, there's the other thing as well, like Dark Mask King, if there's going to be a slot one super, he's the one that, like, not only is he going to tank it better, but then he attacks and then gives us the heal. So, I mean, you can see he's got type advantage and guard, and they're still doing 200k to him, right? So, it's uh, it, they definitely can do a lot of damage to you, but... We got full power Rosé in his element now. We got as many stacks with them as we could by not having any rotations where they were floated off. I don't think we did get particularly lucky with getting additional super attacks or anything, though, unfortunately. So no uh, sort of crazy numbers. I mean, we've seen turns where we get these, like... I think I've done one video since he dropped where we got a double super. For the one that was on turn one, he, like, double supered both turns. Um, and then once we transformed, we were dropping like 12 to 13 million attacks on his best turn where he's got more links and support and stuff. Um, so you do want to try and get those additional attacks in early on, but I say you want to try and get them. It's obviously, you know, complete RNG from uh, his his passive, like whether you're going to, or his hidden potential, whether you're going to get one or not. So here we are on the, uh, this is actually a pretty good setup because 21's active skill is going to remove the attack in slot one, meaning Janemba will get to attack before they potentially super him, which means his defense, sadly though, as I said earlier, like his defense will go up over a million, but it does basically mean if they super attack him, he probably does still die. Um... It would be kind of interesting to see what 21 would take, but because we're up against the tech boss, if I was to do this just for the sake of like this rotation, um, it would work for 21 because <clears throat> she's not going to get attacked in slot one because the active skill removes his attack. But then we're stuck in a situation where on this rotation next time, we have the AGL 21 and the Evil 21. So we'll go ahead and fire off her active skill here. I'll make sure to check what her defense is, because of course, any of these characters that get all their stats when they attack, if you, they have an attack active skill, using it obviously procs that, and then you can see in the menu um, what they're gonna be getting. So she's got 636K defense. Now remember, she has 21% damage reduction, and my one is 55%. She's obviously going to super attack before they get to attack her. Every super she does, she's raising her defense by 30%. And she can potentially do four of them if we get the best RNG, right? So hopefully they're not going to be uh, 
real party poopers over here and uh, drop a super attack on Janemba. But um, what's the evil 21 looking like? She's got 400k defense and she has 21% damage reduction as well. I do think, unfortunately, in this scenario with her being at 55%, she would probably die to their super as well. She is going to greatly raise defense. So if she gets two supers on this turn, then obviously she's going to have pretty high defense as well but just unfortunately just like we're saying with Janemba um, even having like a million raw defense is not really good enough I mean she does have the 21% damage reduction but it's going to be uh, potentially a lot of damage so we'll see um, Janemba 7.3 pretty solid for him here with uh, just the links and no support easily enough raw defense to tank normal attacks for double digit damage and then here we go I would be very interested to see if 21's able to get a lot of supers here. It would be very interesting to see what she's taking from a super from them. But you have to remember, it's going to be a lot. Because these guys hit hard as it is anyway, and they have type advantage over her. So even having 21% damage reduction, even if her like, defense here is going up over a million, um, I think she would probably still die to a super from them. I guess we'll see what happens, but... There's three supers. Oh, we got the additional normal. That was almost her best turn. We got four attacks, but only uh, only the three supers. Oh, and of course, then she gets hit and gets like the 60%. Is it 60% defense buff? So she's like, what, 1.5 million or something there? So actually, she might have lived a super from them. But of course, they're going to super physical 21. I think she probably does die here. Yeah, that is unfortunate. But, I mean, there you go. Like I say, I did... We're on a good track. This is the exact team I used. I posted a screenshot last night on Twitter of this exact team doing this exact stage, getting a no items run. Um, you know, if I was playing it to actually beat the stage, if we needed to do a mission for like crossover or something to secure the W, um, I probably would have used the Whis on that turn potentially because I think 21 actually would have been fine. The AGL 21 if she took the normal attack first because she gets that massive defense buff. But unfortunately on that turn, we were kind of rolling the dice because Janemba with no guard and the physical 21, either of them would have died to a super attack. But um, yeah, I think this team build is really, really good for Rosé and 21 mixed crossover team. Um, I really have to save stones for whatever's coming next, but I'm so like you guys. Like I love this team. I love the. I think the 21's really good. I think she's underrated. I want to summon on the banner more so bad, right? I want both these 21 units on the team here at 79%, so we can not only get the extra stats, the hidden potential abilities, get the gold equip slot unlocked. But sadly, I will have to uh, refrain. Being that time of year, you know, when it's uh, I'm spending my money on like re friends and relatives and stuff for Christmas, can't just be. Uh, going all in on dragonstones but let me know what you guys think down below uh how would you change the team if you wanted to build a perfect rose uh, crossover team with the 21s on the team how would you build it let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the mask ningen smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new check out the links down below for the discord and the merch store and i will see you all again soon have a good one